last video, I was talking about intermittent fasting and how it could really help with some of my symptoms of multiple sclerosis. A few of my friends fast all the time and they say that they've never felt better. But the idea of intentionally going without food was something that I was really not looking forward to. <laughs> like, at all. So I've been reading up on it and watching videos to help me understand it a little better. So when you eat, you store some energy in your liver in the form of glycosin. But after 10 to 12 hours of not eating, your glycosin levels get really low. And that's when you start to feel irritable and hangry and you know, we call it hangry, but it's really like you running low on glycosin, son. And you really need that to keep your energy up, son. And usually we eat to help balance things out. But if you don't eat, that's when you start burning fat. And when you're burning fat instead of sugar, that's when chemicals called ketones are released. And ketones trigger another molecule called BDNF. And BDNF helps strengthen neurons and neural connection areas associated with learning and memory. And those ketones help you fight MS-related inflammation. And some people say that fasting and ketosis are some of the things that helped our ancestors deal with not having as much food as we have these days. Yeah, because if you just can't go to your local grocery store to get food, you're going to be hungry a little bit. And Dr. Terry Walls talks about it all in the Walls Protocol. And the Walls Protocol has been key in helping me feel like a normal person again. So all signs point to, yeah, you're going to have to figure this out, son. But right now, I'm taking some time off for the holiday. Just hanging out with friends and chilling out. So I'll start fasting when I get back. No need to try to go in the hunger cave when I'm on vacation. Nah, that's not a good look, son. So I'll make some videos about how I'm doing with it all when I come back. Also, after vacation, I'm going to take a little bit more time off because we're getting a dog. A puppy, actually. So, a baby dog. So I'm going to be on paternity leave for a few weeks as we just, you know, figure out our new family. So it's really looking like the next leg of this MS journey is through the hunger cave. And to that, I say, K-Bite! Okay,